Welcome back to a new style of video on the channel, my first ever unboxing. Now, I had a knock on the door today and got this. Turns out it was brought to me to test, so I just thought I would show it off and see what came in the package. So first off, obviously there's the console itself in very good condition. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera or not. came with a game inside it, burning rubber. Now this isn't a console I've ever had a chance to play growing up, so this is all new to me. So we'll set that to the side. And next in the box was this nice triple collection. Now on the back it's got a bit of information about all the games. So we open it up. Now, I'm assuming this was standard for the big box games because a few of them here have have this in it. And there's the three cassettes. And then the manuals for each. Again, very, very good condition. Oh, Terminator is more like a poster style. It's got like a rose gold kind of tint to it. Pretty cool. Okay, so set that to the side. And next, this is just wrapped in a plastic bag. Oh, of course, rack, please. So that's there. Focus controller there. Fits nice and smooth. Reminds me kind of like a NES style controller. Okay. Well, this next, but we'll leave that because one more big box game here. That's turtles again. <clears throat> There's turtles, same again information on the back, open it up. And it's, oh, it's got a different colour back this time. And there's the cassette. Nothing, nothing on the back side of it there. And there's a wee instruction manual. I'm not sure what them pages are for. Well, you'll probably not be able to pick that up on camera, but it's got text on it there. It's hard to make out. Maybe cheat codes of some sort. Set that to the side, and then I thought it was a sweet postcard. Cool. Okay, and then the final, I'm going to move this box out of the way, because there was no leads around when came with it. But next we have, there's a music cassette uh, holder. And I'll open that up, put them all out one by one. First off is a big Terminator box, Judgment Day. Again comes in the wee bag and then the manual there I think it's the same as the other one so I'm not going to open that. And then you have these cassettes. Soccer Challenge. Dragons of Flame. Action Fighter. 
our type. Batman, always a classic game. Only played the NES version myself. Rainbow Island. Again, again, these are all very good condition. There's controls and stuff on the inside. I suppose that was their way of giving you a manual without taking up too much space. Next up we have NARC. So I'm assuming is a shooting game or fighting game. Yeah, the best shoot 'em up on the market. Well, according to Sinclair User87 anyway. The last commando. Very cool. I have two that I'm going to keep to last for. Oh, there's a four in one. Didn't know you could get these. It's got Tarzan, Tobbers, Spin Dizzy, and Confusion. There's an image for each of them on the back. Cool. This one, SAS Assault Course. Suggested 299 retail. I wonder what they'll go for now. Next up, Turbo Chopper. Cover kind of reminds me of Desert Strike series, but obviously the images on the back look nothing like that. But it's a helicopter combat game anyway. Pretty cool. Uh, next up, we have Platoon. So based on the on the based on the movie, I'm sure. Looks pretty cool. Next up is The Way of the Tiger, Avenger. Avenger, an excellent game that will keep you enticed for hours. Looks pretty cool. Right, and last but not least, the reason I kept these two for last is because the Evercade, which is a new handheld console, is actually bringing out a collection. I think there's going to be seven games, seven of the Dizzy games in total on it. So I thought I'd leave these two for last. It's two Dizzy games. There's Magic Land Dizzy, Magic Land Dizzy, and Dizzy Down the Rabbits. So it's not a series I've actually played, but I've heard very good things about it. I'm looking forward to trying it on the Evergate when they release it later in the year. Hope you enjoyed this sort of trip down memory lane. And my first ever look at an Amstrad because I missed out on that generation of Amstrad, Commodore, Spectrum, all those sort of home computers. So I hope you enjoyed and as always, happy gaming.